Hey there, Scipio here, and uh, I posted a, a short sort of review of this uh, spinner that I got from Amazon the other day, and I also talked about the fact that I had some problems with it when I first got it in the fact that the bearing came loose, and uh, it wasn't a very desirable spinner. Since then, I have repaired the bearing, and, uh, and it's actually very enjoyable. But I had a question of uh, somebody who asked if I would show how I fixed it because they're having the same problem. So I thought I would take this moment to basically go over the problem. And that is with this particular one, the, uh, the bearing is glued in. Let me show you first of all what the problem is, how to demonstrate it. So the spinner spins fine one way. If you turn it over, it will drag and then eventually stop. That's a good indication that your bearing is loose in there. And if you take this thing apart, matter of fact, the bearing just sort of popped right on out. So um, again, there are several ways that bearings are held in these spinners, uh, either uh, press fit in there where they shouldn't come loose, but in some of these Chinese made spinners, the tolerances aren't that great. So they're glued or thread locked in. Um, and then uh, the other options are uh, retaining rings that are threaded or, or perhaps retaining screws to hold them in. But given this one was glued and then from the factory, um, basically during shipping or whatever or being dropped, the bearing, now I can't get the bearing out of course, uh, the bearing comes out, uh, that's going to create a problem as it moves and shifts and creates drag. So I've already taken this out and cleaned it. I cleaned it with 99% uh, uh, alcohol, or you can use an acetone, um, but the key is to get it clean. And the bearing itself actually isn't in bad shape. It spins fairly well, uh, but the issue is I need to get it locked in to the spinner. So let me show you uh, how I did that. All right, so the product I'm using is a crazy glue. Uh, this is just a run-of-the-mill sort of uh, super glue. And the procedure I'm using, because the tolerances are so loose on this, and actually I didn't show you, but the bearing has sort of a concave surface on the side. It's not flat on the sides. So what I'm doing is putting four uh, super glue dots. The number's not important. I'm just putting dots, though. I'm, I'm trying not to coat the entire inside with super glue. But what I want to do is make these sort of liquid dots that when the bearing slides into position, it will sort of push a little glue down with it because what I really want it to do is seat along that bottom shelf. And uh, there's not much um, surface area on the sides of the bearing, especially because, like I said, it's, it's, um, it's not a flat-sided bearing. So the only thing that would touch would be the very edges or, um, or that part that sits on the self shelf. So anyway, put it flat on the table and then just slide the bearing in and, uh, and let it sit. It really only takes a few seconds for super glue to dry. I let it sit for a few minutes. And actually, as you'll see uh, from the next part of the video, it took me a, another day or two before I actually filmed the second half. So yes, my beard has been shaved and I'm wearing a different shirt. Maybe you won't notice, but too late. I just told you. So anyway, just double check the bearing. Make sure that it is uh, solid. Put it back together and you're good to go. All right, there you go. There's the end result after cleaning and re-gluing that bearing. Um, everything is back to the way it should be. And as you can see, it's uh, balancing nicely, running nice and smooth. And, uh, you know, again, I used Crazy Glue for this. Um, I actually originally defaulted to using a proper bearing retainer. It's basically like a thread locker, um, but with a uh, consistency and a holding power that's designed for bearings. Unfortunately, the play on the bearing inside this little bearing channel, the hole there, is too much. It wouldn't actually bond well. So what I found is using the uh, crazy glue um, gave it um, what it needed to actually stay in place. Just be careful. Obviously, you don't want to glue the bearing balls uh, into the bearing. That would be bad. Um, the good news is if you mess up, use acetone. I get acetone. It comes in a can. 
uh, a, a metal tin. I get it from like Home Depot, 100% acetone. You can also use a 100% uh, acetone nail polish remover, uh, but I try not to use that because it often comes with some sort of other additive, which I don't really want. I just want pure acetone. Um, but um, anyway, so that's how you clean it. If you accidentally get glue in there, acetone will dissolve super glue. So uh, keep that in mind. If you have a super glue mishap, acetone will solve that problem for you. So um, just, like I said, do it sparingly. Try not to get glue in the bearings, and uh, you should be good to go. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thought I'd share that with you based on a viewer request. So there you go. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.